Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding sales by day of the week and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years multiple number of times. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called orders with five different columns, order ID, customer ID, order date, item ID and quantity. The combined columns order ID and item ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information on the orders placed. Order date is the date item ID was ordered by the customer with ID, customer ID, right? We are also given a second table called items with three different columns, which is basically the details of the item. So item ID, item name and the category of the item. Item ID is the primary key for this table. Item name is the name of the item and category is the category of the item. We are in the business, we are the business owner and would like to obtain a sales report for category items and the day of the week. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report how many units in each category have been ordered on each day of the week. So basically Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up, all up to Saturday on each of these days in different categories, how much units have been ordered, right? The results should be ordered by category in ascending order, right? So let's go through this example. So let me just, you know, pull this right side so that we have a good view. Okay. So this is the orders table and this is the items table, right? So here, if you see what are the different categories, book, phone, glasses, and t-shirt, and we need to find out. Okay. So in book on Monday, how many units were ordered on Tuesday, similarly for all sat Saturday, then for phone, then for glasses, and then for t-shirt. So book is what two different items categorized in book and they are item ID one and two, right? So if you see item ID one for item ID one and two, how many total orders are there? So this one row, two row, three row and four row, right? So now first of June, 2020. So like if you do first of June, 2020 was Monday, right? So obviously if first of June was uh, Monday, then seven days after that will again be Monday. So eighth of June will also be Monday. So in the category books, right? So you, you see uh, item ID one and two are books. So the we are the four rows that we identified were this, this, this and this one, which will be coming in books. So if you see for Monday, that is on 1st of June and 8th of June, what is the total quantity ordered? 10 plus 10, that is 20, right? Then this is 2nd of June, 2nd and obviously 1st of June is Monday, then 2nd of June is Tuesday. So Tuesday on Tuesday, there were five ordered, right? Then the next one is this one, right? So obviously 5th of June. So 5th, uh, 5th of June is Friday. So there is nothing on Wednesday. There is nothing on Thursday, right? So on Friday, 10 units and then Saturday and Sunday, there is nothing. So if you see, if you look at the output, for book, we have 20 on Monday, 5 on Tuesday, nothing on Wednesday and Thursday, 10 on Friday and nothing on Saturday and Sunday. And similarly, we need to do this for all the different categories. Now here, the first thing that we need to do is since this information is in two different tables, we need to join these tables, right? But now here, we need to keep one thing in mind. If you look at this, right? So item ID one, two, one, three, four. So in total, we have six different items. But if you see the item ID six is not present in this, right? So if you left join orders table on items table, right? And try to find out the category and then try to do it, right? The problem will be we won't be having this t-shirt category, right? Because this order item ID six belongs to t-shirt category, but your output needs to have, even if nothing was ordered on any day for t-shirt, you need to have zero, 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 like on each of the days. So you need to keep that in mind initially. So instead of, you know, performing a left join of orders table on items table, we need to do the vice versa, or you can perform a right join of orders table on items table, right? So basically both of these are same thing, right? So let's do the left join of items table on orders table, 
right so let me go ahead and write this so from the items table i aliased as i let's left join the orders table aliased as o on which column i dot item id is equal to o dot item id so basically what this will do right so if you look at this right so it takes okay from item id it takes to the cursor is on this part so item id is equal to one so it will go to the orders table and try to find out where all we have item id equal to one so it will find three matches right so this row this row and this row so for this row in the items table there will be three different rows right so this is going to be the same for all the three rows and whatever comes after so like all these five columns that comes after this they will be based on the orders table right similarly for two so since two is only one so it will find only one match so for this there will be only one row similarly for all different ids now what will happen to six since it will not find any match it will be having null in all the five columns right that come from the orders table let me do one thing let me for the item category book let me you know try to you know may demonstrate to you like how this join will look like it will be more clear you know when we develop the query so let's say so obviously book category is item id 1 and 2 right so when the cursor is here it will find three different matches right so this one this one and this one so how will it look okay so this is how it will look like right so obviously if you see what i have done is so here we have three different rows right so here we had uh, one so since there was three different hits for one right as i already told you uh, this one this one and this one so there are three different rows for one and then for another uh, category of book the item id is two and since there is only one match with item id two so there is going to be only one row right so the first three columns come from this and the next five come from this right so what we do and similarly this extends for all different categories here we only are looking at book now what if i do you know group by this category right so let's let me do this so group by the category right and category belongs to items right so i dot item category right and now what i do is if i return the category right so select i dot item category as category column right why because in the output if you look at it the name of the column is category right so we do that and then what we do is then in this group so right so this entire four lines is now one group now if we do that there is a function called day of week in sql which basically if you enter a date it will tell you it will return you values from one to seven where one means sunday two means monday and up to seven which means saturday right so what we can do is we can see and employ case when statements here that if your you know whatever uh, if you use the day of the week function and you are returning one right so in that case you know you take the quantity and sum that right and enter into a column called sunday and if it is not equal to one then you return zero so basically what i mean by this is if we write something like case when right and this is for each of the groups right so since we have grouped by and then uh, the select statements executes right so case when right day of week of the this column right and this comes from the orders table so o dot order date is equal to right two since like since the first column should be monday right so is equal to two we know that if this comes out to be two it is monday right so then what you do is you return the quantity right so o dot quantity else if this is not the case then you return the value zero you end the case statement and you sum this 
entire thing right so you sum this entire thing and alias this as monday right so basically what is this going to do it is going to look okay so where all i am getting is equal to two so this will give you since this was monday and this was monday it will give you two right so it will take okay so here we have equal to two then it will return 10 here it is not equal to 2 it will return 0 so 10 plus 0 plus 0 plus this is again going to return 2 right so it is all uh, again going to take 10 so 10 plus 0 plus 0 plus 10 is equal to 20 right and that is what was number of quantities ordered for book on monday right if you see book monday 20 so you see this works so similarly what we can do is we can do the same thing for all different columns right so tuesday wednesday thursday etc so what we can do is we can simply you know copy this entire thing right and keep changing certain values right so this is monday then this is tuesday this is wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday right so if you uh, do this to three right so this is going to be tuesday right then similarly if this is four then this is going to be wednesday and so on okay so this is done remember we said that one is sunday two is monday and since we started with monday then obviously for sunday we need to write is equal to one now once we have that why is this going to work right so if i say right so why is why are we getting t-shirt is equal to zero 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 right so again for t-shirt there is one item which is a t-shirt and there is no match here right and since we are left joining items on orders so all the five columns are going to be null in this case right so basically what is going to happen is let me you know copy this here right okay so this is how it will look right for t-shirt now what i do is group by right so we group by the category so this is one line right now it will see okay am i getting uh right you know order date is equal to two since here order date is null it won't satisfy this right so it will return zero right and since there is only one row so it will sum of the entire thing that is going to be zero and zero is going to be entered in monday similarly for all these right so that is why you know this thing is getting satisfied right so for t-shirt we are getting the desired output right okay now one thing is left here to do is the question says that you need to order by category in ascending order right so we write order by i dot item category or you can simply write since we have already alias this right as category so order by category in ascending order by default it ascend uh, does the sorting in ascending order okay so this looks good let me go ahead and remove all this and we can go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted and if you can see like here we have for t-shirt 0000, 000 so since there was nothing our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again it was difficult level question but because it was tricky that you know if you perform a join in a certain way then like it will be easier to get to the output right and then all you had to do was know that you know there is a function called day of the week which can tell you uh, basically spits out number based on the day of the week where one is equal to sunday and seven is equal to saturday and based on that we had to use for each of the group categories right so uh, case win statements to you know sum up the total quantity ordered in that particular day so this is how we do it let me know guys if uh, there is a better way you can think of or a more efficient way you know of doing this let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video